Hi, everybody. This is Mark Rep, technology trainer of Port Huron Schools. And today I'm going to take a good look at creating screenshots on a Chromebook. The first way that I'm going to show you is creating a basic full page screenshot. The assignment that was given to the students through Google Classroom was to take a logo from a school website. What we'll do first is we're going to take a screenshot of the home page of the website. So to create a screenshot of this entire page, all you'll have to do is press the control key and the task switcher key at the top. It's in the top middle of the keyboard. When you do that, you'll see right here, screenshot taken. If you wanted to see it directly in the folder where it was saved to, you could just click show in folder. This will open up the files app and will show you all of the screenshots that you've taken so far. This is the one that I just took. It is highlighted and it's at the very top of the list. This is actually found within the download section of My Files. You can make a shortcut to this Files app by simply going into your launcher. You can click the launcher by clicking this circle right here, and that'll bring it up. That's one way. Another way is to press the search button at the left side of your keyboard. It's the third key up on the left side. Now, if I bring this up and I type in the word files, it will bring up the apps that have the word file in their name. And in this case, there is a files app, and there it is right there. If I want to pin this to the shelf, I can do a two-finger tap and then choose pin to shelf. And now I will always have the files app right down here on the shelf whenever I need it. So if I wanted to go back to those screenshots that I took, I could tap on the files app and now I'm in the download section and there are my screenshots. So that's one way that you can take a screenshot of a full page. Now the assignment was just the logo of the website though. So if you just want to select a specific area of a page, you're going to add an additional key to your keyboard combination. Now before we did control and task switcher. This time we're going to do control shift and task switcher those three keys now at the same time, all three keys, and it dims my screen just a little bit. And you'll see that I have a crosshairs icon. And since it's dim, you can sort of drag your mouse like this to highlight only the area that you want. And I did this diagonally. Notice I started in the top left and dragged down. You can use one finger to drag if you'd like to. And you'll see in this case, Again, the screenshot has been taken and there it is. I can click show in folder and it will take me to the files app where I can see the screenshot highlighted. Here's another thing you can do. Let's say that you're putting this into a Google Doc. A way that you can copy and clip it and then paste it into your Google Doc is by clicking this right down here, this copy to clipboard button. I'm going to click on that. And now if I wanna put this into the document by pasting it, I could either go up here to edit choose paste. I could do a right click by doing two finger tap. Alt tap would also give you a right click. And you can also with a touch screen, hold down on the screen with your finger and let go. So multiple ways that you can paste. And now there's that screenshot logo. I can click and there it is. So I've pasted it in directly that time. And that's how you would put it into your document. But let's say the teacher only wants the screenshot and not a document with the screenshot in it. So I'll locate my teacher's class in Google Classroom and you'll see that due Monday, it says turn in your screenshots here. So I could click on that link or I could go right into the classroom. I'm going to click on the link right here where it says to turn in the screenshots and it takes me then directly to the assignment. The teacher created an assignment called turn in your screenshots here. Now what I can do is click add now this screenshot is not currently in my Google Drive. So I'm going to choose File. From the Upload tab, we'll go to Select Files from your computer. And on a Chromebook, you'll notice that it takes me right into my downloads. These are files that are on the Chromebook. These are not in Google Drive. I'll select the one at the top. It's got the word screenshot, and then there's the long time and date stamp. Now, if for any reason the student wanted to change the name of this, just do a two-finger tap or alt-click, and then click Rename. Then you could type a new name for that screenshot. 
and then press enter. So now I've renamed the screenshot, then tap open, and then upload. Now that screenshot has been uploaded to Google Classroom and it can be turned in. So I'll tap turn in and then turn in. And you'll see it has my name on it now. And I want you to know that the teacher on the teacher's end will not only see the name of the screenshot, but they will also see the name of the student as well. So it wasn't necessary to rename the screenshot, but I just wanted to show you that it can be done, which makes it easier for the teacher to not only see the name of the student, but also see the name of the student on the assignment itself. I'm Mark Rep. Thanks for joining me again for another tech tip. Bye-bye.